I have a rotisserie chicken that I have warmed up. I didn't want it to go bad. So what I'm about to do now is prepare this rotisserie chicken. I'm going to make a chicken barbecue. And I'm going to remove the piece of band that they put on the legs to keep the chicken together. And I'm cutting it down the middle between the breasts. That's what you want to call it, the breast. I'm removing the skin. Now, um, I thought I was ready, but I had to get a container so I could put the skin in. So I'm going to remove the skin from the rotisserie chicken, as much skin as possible. I'm going to remove at this point. It's not very tedious, you know, as long as the chicken is not too hot or not too cold. It's got to be really the right temperature for the skin to come off. And it came off very easily. So I'm just gonna to continue to remove the skin, take my time, so that way I can get majority, all this skin off this um, rotisserie chicken. As you can tell, there's a, a drumstick right there, that's the leg I'm working with. Is what I'm doing, there's the skin. Right there. Now I'm going to start just cutting into this um, rotisserie chicken and I'm using two forks, I believe. I'm using two forks. Eventually I know I'm going to use a knife, but for right now I'm using two forks. And then I even started using my hands. This food here is just for my family. <laughs> but my um, Mr. T had went out early and got some KFC and I have to do this voice over because we had family come from out of town so they were talking the tv going they playing music and they just having themselves a just a good old time so yeah so there you go see me using my fingers now it was so much easier doing it this way i'm picking all the meat off the bones because we don't need the bones but i did save the bones i had mr t come eventually and put the bones in a, a sandwich bag for me and put it in the freezer so that way I can make chicken soup later on down the road, a uh, bone broth or whatever. You know, it's about to get cold soon, so we need those bones. So that's what um, is going on right there. Still removing skin. I flipped the chicken over now. And I'm just working with it. Is what I'm doing. It didn't take very long, maybe 10 minutes or so, if that. I don't think it took 10 minutes, but I'm in there running my mouth as well. So we're going to keep it moving. Here I am just removed the backbone, that gristle part, whatever you want to call it. It's the, the bone. In the back we don't need that we're going to take that out and put that over there as well to the side i'm still picking this rotisserie chicken Okay, here is the gristle and all of that that I was just talking about. I'm just about done. That makes a good soup right there, y'all. I tried to pick up all the meat as much as possible. Yep. 
look and this here um rotisserie chicken was a um a lemon pepper one but you um really couldn't tell by the time i put it in the barbecue sauce so i'm moving it to the side I'm gonna mess with my um it was a a, a gnat or something that kept irritating me i had mr t come like i said and put the um bones in a bag for me I'm just tearing up this chicken or shredding up this chicken is what I'm doing. barbecue sauce um, I had some barbecue sauce that I had gotten when I went to South Carolina um, to country style cook-off in Bennettsville South Carolina so I was just getting my chicken out of the uh, my rotisserie chicken out of the microwave because that's why I had it sitting while my barbecue sauce heated up and I added some little scotch bonnet hot sauce to it as well and found out that my brother-in-law he doesn't like stuff hot and spicy so um and i really don't need it because it gives me heartburn so now i have to mellow it down and i'm going to come back in a few minutes in a few seconds you're going to see me come back with some um sweet baby rays which i'm going to squirt now on top 
Okay, as you can see, I am getting ready to stir this up. Got to get the flavors moving. Got to get the flavors moving. I went and stepped to the side to get a bigger spoon. I did step away to get a bigger spoon and um, didn't pick it up. I'm steady talking and answering questions and forgot. So I'm still using the same spoon I had in my hand in the prior clip. Yeah. Anyway. I'm making it work. Because I'm probably still talking. Yep. And when I tell y'all that this chicken barbecue turned out some kind of good if you don't eat pork or you don't eat beef this here was perfect this was perfect and so i'm just mixing it this um the barbecue sauce up is all that i'm doing and i believe i added a little bit more not that it looked dry, but I'm so used to barbecue being really nice and moist. So, um, you shall see that in a, in a few. Okay, y'all, I am back with some more Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, like I stated prior. Yes, when I say it was good, it was some kind of good. And to top it off, I had some coleslaw. Ooh, woo. but um, we didn't eat that um that night. We ate it the next day for dinner because, like I said, Mr. T had already had went out and bought some KFC. So yeah, so I just had to go and get this done and get it out the way, and um, kept me from cooking the next day. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please bear with me. I think this is my second or maybe third time doing voiceovers. I'm not comfortable doing this because um, this is just not something that I do. But um, I had to do it in this instance because it was just a lot going on. And as you can tell, I'm moving and carrying on. I'm talking. So, yes. And um, I hope you like this little short video. Let's see what else is going to happen in the next few seconds. Okay, y'all, I'm going to come back for the third and final time with some more barbecue sauce. Yeah, that part I did. Like I said, I like it moist. I don't like it dry, you know. So I had to add some more barbecue sauce. And this was the final time I added barbecue sauce. I guess you really need to fix your barbecue the way you like it. Your house, your family, whatever, however you like to eat it. But I, I do like mine moist. And like I said, and to top it off with some good coleslaw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was good. It was good. Okay, y'all. This video is just about done. And the only thing I'm going to do now is just put my lid on it and let it simmer for a little while. And um, that was it. End of the video. Please let me know if you enjoyed.